Here we are against the New York Jets coming off a 54 to 42 loss against the Niners. We got the piss beaten out of us. Pretty sure realistically like the actual final score is like 54 to 28 and then we just ran up some garbage time, two garbage time touchdowns on them. But we're playing the 3 and 2 Jets as we are also 3 and 2. Devin McQueen going to keep going elusive back here. He has satellite, but I really never see that get activated. So I think I am just going to change it back to uh, first one's free. If I can have that. So yeah, we're going to do that. Goal line back. And then Jamie Buchanan here. Run stopper. I need my rushing game to be a little bit better. I want to do that. Block shedding play rec. Strength is nice. Rashad Brooks here. Keep going into... I want to go into hybrid on this. Because I feel like that's what he is more than anything. And uh, press. Man coverage. Awareness plus three. Del Delonte Harris here. Let's keep going to run stopper. I would like him there because he's definitely more of a defensive tackle than he is a defensive end. Power moves, pursuit, tackle, finesse moves, block shedding. That's nice. But anyways, week six against the Jets. We are three and two. Crisis and confidence over still having a winning record is crazy. But either way, oh my gosh, Jerron Morton, stop yapping. This dude's a D1 yapper in Japanese. I know we live in Tokyo and you need to study Japanese, but you're fluent in Japanese, dude. That's all you think. Hey, coach, I haven't been as productive as I was hoping to be this year. Dog, you literally had 75 yards and a touchdown last game. Like, it wasn't crazy having a big game, like, reject him. I mean, you know, let's just make a promise. There's, there's no negative downside to this. Thanks, coach. I knew you'd understand to get me more involved. Keep your promise to Jerron Morton. Get him 100-plus receiving yards. I'm sure he's going to have four touchdowns and 99 yards and then bitch about his situation. Happens all the time. Anyways, um, three and two. Teddy Snell is 5-0 and with the Seahawks. We're playing them in week eight, so he's got to hold out for two more weeks for this week and our bye week, then we can beat the living crap out of him. Monday night prime time, baby. Let's edit the uh, the CPU's uniforms. Make it, uh, make it the alternate. Yeah, I like that. Then our uniforms. Can I get uh, some different pants other than that? Do I not have white pants? Oh, we just have red pants, alternate pants. I like those gray alternates. That's actually nice. We'll do that. Third down and five for Tua in the Jets. Wearing number 12 on a QB is... For, for Tua, it looks disgusting. Wearing number 12 for Brady is cool, but McCall Hardman, 29 yards, first and 10. First and 10, sending a blitz. Dalvin Cook slithers by it. Dude, somebody make a tackle. Rashad Brooks makes it, second and five. Number 12 is literally retired for the Jets, so I don't even know why Tua is capable of wearing it, but McCall Hardman, another first and 10. Second down and seven. What do we got here? Got to cover me. Cole Hardman literally double covered him. He's too fast. McCole Hardman, another first and 10. First and 10. Going to the outside here with Dalvin Cook. I get pancaked. Dalvin Cook. Touchdown. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What, what's happening? What's happening? I did not mean to do that. Full game. Third and three already for us. Great. <laughs> Third down and three after the simulation bug. Get to the outside. Thank you, McQueen. Get the juke on the safety. Can't do that, but it leads to a first and ten. As Jerron Morton, the guy who was begging for a breakout, gets hurt. Second down and eight. Let's see what we have here. Maybe why over the top Devin McQueen can maybe beat the safety. If you let it better, it doesn't matter. It's tipped up and Devin McQueen. Touchdown. He gets one every single week. My God. We're going to substitute Jamison Williams for Jerron Morton. Was that tipped? It, I mean, if it was led better, it would have been a perfect drop-in. Because, like, look, it, it's clearly behind him. He has to stop to come here. If you put the ball simply just over here, he has him. He has him beat. But then he tips it. He kind of swats it into this man's hands, which is crazy. And then he shakes off the ankle clip here. Touchdown. That's crazy. First and 10, sending a blitz for Dalvin Cook. Ashley Miners in the backfield, tackle for a loss. Second down and 12, got to cover Garrett Wilson. He's going to the corner. I'm not going to have the speed with my linebacker. Who is playing a deep coverage here? Obviously nobody. Second and 12 goes to first and goal for Garrett Wilson. First and goal, what are we going to have? Over the middle, come on, Connor Graham, put your hands up, dude. You're right in front of McCole Hardman. Touchdown. First and 10, they're pressed up on Cooper, but I should have Jerron Morton here. Jerron Morton up the field. Oh, dude, if he broke, that would that would have been huge for his breakout challenge. Well, his chance or whatever. It's not really a breakout challenge, but first and 10. Third down and 10. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to go to Dev McQueen because I think he can outspeed. Fourth and one. I think I will just take my field goal here. Even though it is fourth and one, I think Eddie Eaton can drill this. Is the wind in our favor? It is. 
So I think Eddie Eaton can drill this and make this a four-point game. It's perfect accuracy. The wind's going to push it a little bit to the left, and he's going to drill it. 10 to 14 against the Jets. Second down and four. They're going to give it to Dalvin Cook here to the outside. It's going to be a tackle by David Chasen, but it leads to a first and 10. First and 10. Let's see what we have here. To the inside, David Chasen can't cover Garrett Wilson. Another first and 10. Third down and inches. What are we going to have? That was my zone, but DJ Reed does nothing to help coverage. There's the ball on the ground, and the Jets recover, even though three bodies were there to get it. Their MVP, McCole Hardman. Like, my boy, DJ Reed, is getting cooked on every single route. Like, look at this. What are you doing? You just stand there buffooned in. First and 10. Let's see what we have. It's going to be a two-a run. What a what a dumb play call, and it's going to be recovered by Odafe away. Tackle for a loss by Jamie Buchanan and Odafe away. Two of fumbles. We get the ball. What a stupid play call. Second down and eight. Let's see what we have. Maybe B. Amari Cooper. Nice stuff. Had to switch on and made sure I'd step in front. First and 10. First and 10. We're going to give this here to Devin McQueen, who has amazing blocks from Amari Cooper. The safety saves a touchdown. First and 10. Second and six. We got play action. Going to roll out. A is actually going to be there if I throw with anticipation. Nice stuff, Dean Towns. Touchdown second is that second one on the day for Clifton Stalker 17-14 third and one committing the team not really it just brought the safety up and that basically commits the team and it's a thank god it's an overthrown pass from Tua surprised his noodle arm could make it that far far fourth and one they're gonna punt second and ten maybe we have the wheel route we're gonna have it we're gonna have it the sa if the safety's not playing we're gonna have it every time let's zoom in just push back out Go, uh, Devin McQueen. Ah, oh, that could have been a touchdown, but it's not. Still a huge gain, first and 10. Second 11, trying to run away, run away, run away. Dump it off, dump it off. Go, McQueen, up the field. McQueen trying to power, third and two. Third down and two, looking for McQueen. Got McQueen, and it's overthrown. Fourth and two. I'm going to go for this. I know it seems like, oh, I don't need to because I'm already winning by three, but it's like, I'm on the two, and if I don't get it, they have to go 98 yards the other direction, and I can just roll out with Clifton Stalker. Nice block. I'm going to whip around, give it to Amari Cooper. Nice throw, dipshit. <laughs> First and 10, run committing my team. Dalvin Cook is to the outside. What's the point of a run commit if nobody does anything? First and 10. Third and ten, my DBs better not choke this, and they're they're gonna choke it. They're they're, they're gonna choke it. Come on, dude, you're a DB lined up on a tight end, you're still getting cooked. Second and three, I dropped my safety, and that was a bad decision. Still, DBs getting cooked. Garrett Wilson, first and ten. First and ten, probably have to double team Michael Hardman because oh, please pick it off. Thank you, thank you. Someone has a brain on my defense. Connor Graham picks off. Why is Connor Graham lined up on Michael Hardman? By the way, it's ranked by speed, but I guess not. First and ten. Third down and six. What are we gonna have? Probably Dean Towns if I had to assume of anyone. And I wish my linebackers played that well. Fourth and six. I'm gonna punt. First and 10, sending a blitz here. Everyone gets blocked. Amazing coverage by Deshaun Casey. Second and 10. Second and 10. Let's see what we have here. It's going to be a Dalvin Cook draw here. And for some reason, Dalvin Cook is shaking off linebackers like he's still in his prime. Third down and three. They're going deep here. That's fine. It's going to be the end of the half, even though it's a big gain. First and 10. First and 10, safety's not playing inside, but there is someone else there. So we're going to lead to X, which is Jamison Williams. Nice catch, even though it was a bad pass. First and 10. First and 10, we're going to see what we have here. Jamison Williams, once again, is going to be wide open underneath, doing more work than Jerron Morton. Another first and 10 for him. Third and three, they got a nickel blitz on this outside. So I'm going to give it to Dean Towns in the flat. Leads to a fourth and two. What does the AI want to do? Field goal, I agree. It's a 58-yarder, but... Once again, I just didn't capitalize. I went to the flat, which was a safe option. Eddie Eaton puts it up, drills it, 20 to 14. Third down and 10. DBs, please do not choke this. Going to the outside. Amazing coverage from the standout rookie, Rashad Brooks, laying his body out for that. Fourth and 10, three and out. Jamie Buchanan apparently got injured. I didn't know that. He has a high ankle sprain and he will not return for the game. That's uh, typical. He's injured all the time. First and 10. We're going to give this here to Devin McQueen. Great blocks up the field. McQueen cuts it back to the inside. First and 10. Second and 10. We're going to give it to McQueen here. McQueen to the outside. McQueen cutting up field. McQueen with another huge run. First and 10. 
Second down and seven. Let's see what we have here. Waiting to the flat here in Casey McHale. Nice three-yard throw, Clifton Stalker. Idiot. Third down and seven. Going to be waiting for McQueen here. I'm going to take this. What? Are, how is this good accuracy? How is that possibly good? At, why are you calling for a flag? You're just an idiot, dude. Fourth and seven. I'm taking a field goal. It is up on the way. 23 to 14, two score game. Third down and seven. What are we going to have waiting? Going to the underneath here. Amazing coverage there. Not amazing coverage, but amazing stop before the first down. They're seriously not going for it on fourth and inches. They're going to punt the ball. Hmm. First and 10. Is the safety going to help? He is. So we're going to go to Jamison Williams underneath if they're helping with Devin McQueen. Jamison Williams gives us nine yards. He's having a good game. Second and one, we got play action, rolling out with Clifton Stalker. I could go to the flat, or I could just cut it this right up the middle with Clifton Stalker. He's going to fumble the ball, but it goes out of bounds. First and ten. Second and ten, we're going to give this here to McQueen. Airport lane, dude. My God. Anyways, McQueen powers forward and leaves us with a third and one. Third and one, they got a huge stack on the box. Running play action, just heave the ball. Ugh, fourth and one. It's fourth and one on my 43. I know it's like, oh, you're just being way too aggressive, Vic. I do not care. They're sending a safety blitz. They're pressed on Morton. They're pressed on Cooper. Just give them a little bit of time here. Yeah, I got Amari Cooper over the top. And he's going to he's gonna overthrow him. He's going to overthrow him on fourth and one when it's a touchdown. Second and four, sending a blitz, immediately going to the inside. Amazing coverage by Deshaun Casey there. Knock out that ball. Third and four. Third and four for the Jets. What are they going to do? Deshaun Casey gets cooked. Completely torched after giving him praise. Destroyed by Mikkel Hardman in press man coverage. Thought they were going underneath. Wish my quarterback could actually make an accurate deep throw. First and 10. Let's see what we have. We're going to have McQueen over the top. McQueen with the speed. I guess that kind of makes up for it before, but like not really. McQueen off to the races. No one's going to catch him. Just a normal thing for him nowadays. 30 to 21. We make it a two score game once again that easily. Second and three. Let's see what we have. Immediately going to the outside. First and ten. Who is that on the reception? It is going to be Garrett Wilson. First and ten. Let's see what we have here. Oh, here comes the pressure. Tua going deep. Uh, yeah. No, notice how it's an under pressure throw and Tua still throws a nuke of a pass whenever my Clifton Stalker. No pressure. Clean pocket. Overthrows an Amari Cooper bomb touch. This right here is a complete overthrow or a pick if that's me. 100%. Third down and seven, waiting on McQueen for the screen pass. Great blocks up the field. Other than 73, other than 73, you have a guy in your face and you're standing there doing nothing. 73 here. Look at this. Like they're all getting their men. 77 has his. 70, you have yours. Even Amari Cooper is blocking up field with the safety. This could be huge for us. 73 right here. All you have to do, block. Stops. You see his foot? He literally plants his right foot. Plants his foot and stops and allows me to get tackled. What do we got to the outside? Who is covering Garrett Wilson? Who is covering Garrett Wilson? It's man coverage, dude. Second and two, they're going to be running it with prime Dalvin Cook here. Okay, yeah, Dalvin Cook for sure shoves off linebackers like that nowadays, sure. X-Factor Dalvin Cook. Third down and three, where are they going to? Njoku wide open up the field. Rashad Brooks, where are you possibly going? You're playing a deep zone and you, you run outside to give your buddy a high five. First and 10, we got Devin McQueen here on the screen. They literally know our place. I, I'm sick of this blocking. I am sick of EA saying they fix shit every year. They are awful at making games. They are so bad at making games. You clearly, is it 73 again? No, it's, no, it's 73 again. You clearly have 72 as his assignments. Keep moving outside with me. Where are you going? Second down and nine. What do we have? Nothing, 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 nothing. Third and 24. Third and 24. They're sending an all-out blitz here, so I'm going to pass it to Dean Towns. Thank you for actually throwing a dot under pressure, Clifton Stalker. Clutch first and 10 on third and 24. First and 10. Let's see what we have. I'm going to take Jerron Morton underneath. Keep going to the outside. Morton gets a first and 10. First and 10. Let's see what we have here. I'll take A underneath. Make a pass. I'm going psycho with this. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. Second and 10. Amari Cooper can't get off his guy. And no blocking has been achieved. Oh, you stepped too far back. 
you step too far back. It do- it doesn't matter because you know my my quarterback. Oh, you step too far back. Literally nobody blocks here. No, I, I it's not my fault. It's seventy four. Look at his dumb ass. Look look at him. He's just he's mentally retarded. And he, he grabs him for a half second and then Dean Town starts humping his ass. And yeah, nice nice blocking, guys. Real good. Third and 23. Yes, I'm running a screen. It's also a nickel blitz and they bite on it even though they should be knowing my plays. Please, please, please get the right blocks. Like, you guys are constantly standing around. The, these are the least aggressive offensive linemen I've ever seen in my life. And I'm going for it on fourth and 12. 4th and 12. I need this here. Jamo Williams, step up on the pass. That has to be pass interference, dude. Literally levels me before I even get to the ball. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Like, I'm... Look, they're both grinding on my ass here. And it's like, oh, they're, they're just fighting for the ball. And then I just get leveled. I don't even touch the ball and my boy just levels me. 1st and 10. What do we have? Maybe they're going deep. Just please make the open tackle. Thank you. Tackle for a loss. 2nd and 12. 2 minutes left. 2nd down and 12. It's going to be a run play to the outside. Dalvin Cook is... He's going he's to break my ankles. Prime Dalvin Cook here. 1st and 10. Going after Dalvin Cook. And I, I get caught on my own fucking teammate. 2nd and 2. Run committing my team because I know it's a run. I got Dalvin Cook in the backfield. Third and four using my third and final timeout. Third and four. There has been zero pressure this entire game. Someone, dude, my defense sucks. They are so bad. Clifton Stalker can't make a throw for shit. And my defense sucks. Another 40 point game for my defense. First and 10. Let's see what we have here. Maybe over the top. It's going to be a pick. It's going to be a fucking pick. I just, I just don't care. It's fine. I, uh, that's going to be the game. That's my first pick of the entire... That's my first turnover of the entire game. And my defense allows 42 points the entire game. It's very frustrating. I, w I just wouldn't care at this point. Because it's like, oh, Vic, you're just being a sore loser. It's like, no, Tua, Tua, noodle arm Tua just dropped five touchdowns and 400 yards on my head. That last interception, I, d I don't care. 103 pass rating, 300 yards, three touchdowns for Clifton Stalker is a good game. It's... Dalvin, Dalvin Cook played like prime Dalvin Cook. Touchdown, 5.3 per carry. Of course, Dev McQueen always does well. 7.2 average. Oh, why don't you give it to Dev McQueen that often? Because, you know, he he makes he breaks big runs, but a lot of the time, guess what? My offensive line doesn't fucking block like they usually do. Um, Dev McQueen, nine receptions, 223 yards and two touchdowns, and we lost the game. Dean Towns with a touchdown. I can't wait for Jerron Morton to bitch at me. Um, tackles for a loss. No sacks. Back-to-back -back games with no sacks. I love the absolute amazing effort from my D-line to sit there with their dick in their hands and do nothing. They're the entire game. Oh, Vic, you've been cussing a lot. Yeah, it, it's pretty frustrating playing the game. CPU, max sliders, you just suck at the game. No pressure is ever created by my team. Oh, you have an X-Factor QB? Yeah, and he plays like dog shit every down. He physically wakes up and says, I can't wait to be the backup. I'm actually considering starting Richard Peterson because he had perfect completion percentage against the Niners. It was impeccable how well he threw the ball. But anyways, Eric Carrington goes up to a 92, still plays like shit. Um, I mean, he does nice in coverage, I would say, but past that, really nothing. We fall to three and three after my defense allows a 54 point game against the Niners, but I threw, I threw five interceptions against the Niners, which put my defense in a really shitty position. So I'll take a blame for that, but allowing 42 points against the Jets, whenever our defense had an interception and I had one turnover at the very end of the game, it, it's stupid. It's ridiculous. I hate it. I'm not even going to look at the Jerron Morton yap session, but the Seahawks fall to five and one right before we're about to play them. Dude, our defensive rushing game is number one. Our defensive passing game is 32nd and our points per game is 32nd. On average, we allow 324 passing yards a game and then 32 points a game. It's crazy. Crazy. Bye week. Oh, we're, I'm going to work these motherfuckers, dude. You guys are getting worked. Stay grinding. Oh my gosh. Do not, no days off for real. Burnout, I don't care. You guys blow. Anyways, apart from that, we're um, weekly awards. Let's see what we got. Probably Devin McQueen. Yeah, Devin McQueen gets a weekly award. Yeah, still doesn't matter because his team around him, his defense specifically sucks. And his uh, 
quarterback missed a fourth and one touchdown and a two yard pass on the goal line which could have won us the game realistically but we're gonna see what we have against the seahawks do they fall to five and two you know are they on a bye week like us nope teddy snell is six and one in his division we are three and three and in the next episode we will be facing off against the six and one teddy snell all these guys will probably just auto upgrade here and man our defense it doesn't matter what i change the sliders to i get no pressure in they suck scouting national focus um i'm gonna do strength to class left tackle receiver right tackle do i keep going db i don't really need anything offensively i'm fine with my receivers my tight end i have an x-factor quarterback x-factor running back you can never have too many dbs i guess dj reed has low-key been playing like ass could replace him but we will be playing teddy snell in the six and one seattle seahawks in the next video so anyways guys thank you guys all for watching make sure you like and or subscribe i'll see you guys all in the next one